All right, just doing a quick update of the container build out here. We finished all of the welding, that all of the welding and conduit boxes are in here. So we've got uh, space for seven lights, and this is way overkill for hanging a light. I know you could probably just attach it to the top, but this is actually structural, helping to support the ceiling. Um, and then we have the little uh, light switch box here that will power all of those uh, outlets. I decided to weld this on here rather than make uh, any more penetrations through than I had to. So that's uh, a steel pipe that goes from the outside box into here. Let's see, this is just an aluminum box uh, here on the outside, but there's no real way to attach these things that's effective except for these clips that screw in and have two more holes. So I decided just to weld it in there instead. I did, uh, I couldn't weld it to the aluminum, so I welded to this uh, steel pipe that's in the in the hole here, pulled it tight, welded it, never coming out. Uh, and then I reamed this out. I just used a unibit to slightly enlarge this, uh, clean up this hole. The weld left a lot of mess on the inside as uh, MIG welding tends to do. So you can see where uh, I took the unibit and just cleaned that up. Not an incredibly pretty weld, but it'll hold. Hold uh, longer than I'm alive, probably. So uh, now to sp I'm gonna spray all these little filings off here, and now we're gonna prime this. We're just gonna use a, a flat white primer paint, one coat kind of thing. And All right, so we got all of the pieces of Unistrut welded in here. It's a bit echoey, so I'm trying to get close to the camera. And we decided to put 11 pieces of Unistrut in this one instead of seven that we did in the other one. Uh, the reason we added more is because this one's a little more dinged up. You can see on this one here, there's probably a good three inches up there where it looks like somebody bashed this roof with a forklift. So we used a, a spreader and spread it apart a little bit and had to wedge these in a little bit. Um, but it is better that it is that way so the rain runs off than the other way where it just pools up there. So we have 11. We're going to have 11 lights in here, which is more than we really need. All right, we got all the light fixtures now hanging from the Unistrut, and they are all plugged into these duplex outlets. We made the one on the left always on, and the one on the right is switched. So if we want to plug in, uh, so, I don't know, some other device back here, heater, a scale, something, I don't know what we'd plug in, but uh, those will be always on all the way back. Uh, we only painted a little bit because our paint sprayer was giving us some trouble, but we have seven uh, beams, this one above me, all the way back. There's seven beams and uh, seven lights. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, I would appreciate them, or uh, subscribe to my channel to see some more stuff like this. Thanks.